Houston football has gone through a lot of change the past couple years. First, it was the opening of TD ECU Stadium right here on campus. And most recently, it was the addition of former Ohio State offensive coordinator Tom Herman to be the head football coach. If you ask Coach Herman what the next change will be, he'll tell you it's the attitude and culture of his football program. We confuse movement with effort. Um, I, I think that these young guys thought they knew what working hard was and thought that they were working hard, uh, but need to continually be educated on what championship level hard work really is. And um, they're really good kids, they're pleasers, they want to do the right thing. I really do believe that. And so um, it's our job as coaches to kind of show them how to do it and what's necessary to, to win championships. For Herman, spring has been all about getting to know how physically and mentally tough his new roster is. For some, they willingly accepted the challenge, others not so much. But approaching the last game in TD, ECU Stadium before the 2015 season this Saturday, Herman's returners are starting to see the light and buy in to Coach's plan. Um, early on, there wasn't a lot of pushback. Um, now, we lost some, some guys. I mean, we, we were pretty radical in, in what we did. You know, we had you know, chained the doors to the locker room, took their equipment away, and we had 4.45 a.m. workouts in February. And, you know, they, uh, we lost a few along the way, and, and that's okay. That's probably a good thing, addition by subtraction. Um, we the guys that really don't want to pay the price to, out of here. And then we, we worked out at 6 a.m. Uh, three days a week throughout the rest of the offseason. And then we get into the practice phase, and practices are, are much more physical and um, longer and harder than, than maybe what they're used to. So um, the question was, you know, how have they embraced it? I, th I think early it was really good. I think that they've gotten into kind of the meat grinder of it. They're uh, and oh my gosh, what did I get into? But uh, I, I think they, uh, especially this week, maybe turned a corner a little bit and are starting to believe that, hey, what, what we're doing is really gonna, gonna pay off in the long run. Um, it's exciting, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely new, something uh, is a lot more physical, a lot more live action, so, uh, but it's fun, everybody's getting adjusted to it and it's paying off for us. I noticed they, that they bring a lot of energy, they're, they're coaching us to our best ability. And they're just bringing it every day on and everybody accountable. The mentality, uh, they, they just want us to be ruthless guys and uh, feel like we was that last year, but it, we're taking it to another level. And, uh, you know, same guys, but just different coaches. That's it. And what makes this coaching staff so different is the guy leading the charge. Herman led an offense to a national championship, has proven he can face adversity by winning it all with a third string quarterback. And don't overlook all he learned from a coaching legend like Urban Meyer. It's no wonder the city that bleeds red thinks he's the one to get the job done. They were by far the most selfless team I'd ever been around. I, you know, we, we always, as coaches, we preach it so often that you got to play for the guy next to you. And you got to, I mean, these guys were genuinely excited for the successes of, of their teammates. Uh, and and that, was, that was really special. Uh, and then with Coach Meyer, I mean, I learned a, a too many things to count, but I think probably the one that sticks out is just the alignment that everybody that, that, that is involved with your players and, and from your, your coaching staff to your strength staff to your training staff to your academic staff to your, you know, who, whoever comes in contact with, with your, your student athletes, the message needs to be, same, be the same, the vision needs to be the same. There can be no hidden agendas, no egos, no um, human element if you will. Everybody's got to check their egos at the door and we all got to be driving uh, for the same purpose. Now it's Coach Herman's job to take what he has learned and apply it to the program that needs him most. He knows his vision and knows his goals. Now it's time to execute. Oh, uh, well, we, we're going to be the most physically and mentally tough team uh, that we can. I think it takes no talent uh, to be tough mentally and physically uh, to, to give great effort it takes no talent uh, and, and we're going to be accountable and we're going to be we're going to play for each other and we're going to play hard and we're going to play uh, like I said with a, a relentless effort of, uh, and f of physical and mental toughness uh, how good we'll be I don't know I, I, you know that's uh, up to us as a staff to make sure that, that uh, our guys are prepared and it's up to the, the players to buy in but uh, one thing that our fans can expect. They're going to see a physically and mentally tough football team that's accountable to each other.
Uh, you know, for the last couple of years, we had a pretty good defense, and uh, I just want to continue that trend. And, uh, you know, we, we've improved over the years, and hopefully we could just improve uh, record-wise as a team and, uh, you know, finish out the right way. We expect a great season. The work that we're going to put in, the work that we're putting in now, is, is going to pay off, and um, we'll just have to see at the end. Coach Herman and the Cougars will open up the 2015 season September 5th against Tennessee Tech right here at home. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen.